another thing added to Dragonflight that is actually a good call. Um, for the longest time, we've had add-ons in order to clean up our UIs. And as you can see, they've already made some changes to the UI in Dragonflight itself. Um, you, there's new portraits, there's like new animations, even the loot windows have gotten like a couple of updates. But a really cool thing, especially those that are familiar with Final Fantasy XIV, or add-ons added to the World of Warcraft. Boom. You can now alter pretty much anything that you want. Unfortunately, it is still a work in process. For example, I've had a lot of people ask, like, can we change the size of the minimap? And as far as I'm aware, we cannot. Um, but we can move it, and we can move this, and we can move this, and we can move that, and we can move it all over the place, and we can, like, quickly add keybinds, and we can do this, and we can do that. So there's a lot of things that they've added. Um, but it's still very much a work in process, and I'm, I'm gonna assume that they're gonna look at feedback and be like, okay, these are the things that we still wanna add to the, um, yeah. Can you make UI profile per spec? Yes, you can, um, you can uh, make a new layout, you can share your layout, you can make, uh, there's the baseline classic. Um, so if you're more familiar like me with like the, the unit frames on the top left, then this is the classic baseline, then you got the modern one. And I do believe that if we go like this and we're like, you know what? I would like to have it like this and like this and then we're going to save it. Then it says character specific. So not class specific, but character specific. Um, which ultimately is kind of the same, but not really the same. Like if you would swap between talents, I don't think that will automatically swap with. But for your paladin and for your mage, it would be different. Uh, is there snapping? I saw on the Twitter that they added snapping. Oh god, where did the ad snapping? Don't know. But I saw on the Twitter that they did do something with that. Aw, oh, very soft. Thank you. Howdy, by the way, everybody. Still not? No, still not added? Snap is enabled? Thank you, Mike. Next to the name, it says snap. Oh shit, yeah, there it is. Snap. So that would mean that the buttons snap to each other, yeah? Oh, actually, huh, that kind of snapped, sort of. So I'm guessing this is action bar one. Kind of snaps. Yeah, it kind of adjusts itself rather than... Yeah, okay. Yeah, there's definitely snapping. Oh, there's definitely snapping. Mm-hmm. So there's a bit of snapping. Ooh, uh, they did, Nedef. They did. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, so no bartender and stuff. I imagine until it's absolutely optimal to what people want. Oh my lord, what have I done? Uh, people are still going to be adding add-ons to it. Um, but until that time, it's perfectly fine, right? Uh, they're also working with more uh, accessibility, by the way. You can increase the cursor size. Uh, you got, like, this movement thing, although apparently that's already in the game. Uh, so those are some good changes. Honestly wondering what else. Uh, so you got, of course, your natural leveling thing. The raids. We could have a look at the raids. Ooh. Um, dungeon journal, right. What started off with a, I want to record Dragonflight, kind of just ended up on a, uh, let's just go over all the things that are actually being added. But that's okay. Adventure guide. Um, how is the key binding now? Key binding is phenomenal. Key binding is literally, um, you go into edit mode. Oh god, how did I do that again? Uh, quick keybind mode. And basically what happens is you click on a button and you're like, okay, this is currently control 2. I want to make a control 3. There you go. If I want to make this control 3, oh wait. There you go. There you go. Literally, I think this is on live as well. Um, but it's really, really quick to add your keybinds now. You click on what you want and you click the combo that you want it to happen. And there you go. 